Hey, what's up, guys? As you can see today, we're in a new location. Uh, the house was a little bit noisy, so I just uh, set up out here. I got this uh, red cloth for you guys. I wish I had a wooden table because I just like placing knives on wooden tables because they look nice. But anyways, today uh, in my review, I got this uh, Amtec USA Extreme Tactical Pocket Fold Knife. Now, when you first get this knife, it's going to come in a plastic or plastic sheath. Or not sheath, a sleeve. And it comes in this uh, new design that Amtec came out with as a guy holding a, uh, I believe to be M4, M16, or a AR-15, so that's really cool. I really like that uh, box design. On the uh, bottom of the box, it just has little warnings and uh, says to ask your knife dealer about more Amtec knives or products. Anyways, onto the knife blade. As you can see, it has a uh, chain leak fence pattern and it has two white lines going right through it. Uh, they are ghosted lines, so they're not solid. Um, they do look like they're behind the fence, so uh, I don't know if that matters any what to you. Uh, me personally, I would have just enjoyed a uh, flat black blade or blade or if uh, they were going to do design I would prefer a uh, snake camo pattern without the white lines but you know hey that's just me uh, I, th I still think it looks cool though this side of the blade it just says a uh, MTech USA Extreme same pattern uh, now on the top of the blade it has a uh, two uh, sided thumb studs so you're going to be able to open this from the right hand and from the left hand now there's no jumping along the blade at all. It is a uh, drop point style blade, so uh, it's going to be a little bit of a stronger tip. The tip isn't too thin, but it's not too thick at the same time. I wouldn't be doing any, uh, you know, stabbing into wood and trying to pry a piece out. Anyways, and down here on the bottom of the, or uh, well, really in the front bottom, uh, there's a flicker. When you close it, it pops out the back like this. And you just press it down, a little fr flick of the wrist, and it comes right open. Now the handle of the blades, as you can see, it's a uh, flat matte black finish. These are uh, anodized aluminum. It has two screws to hold in the uh, handle to the frame, and then it has a uh, screw for the pivot point. Pivot point. On this side, it has your pocket clip with two screws. It is uh, non-reversible to either side. And it's uh, meant for right side pocket carry, tip down only. The pocket clip is stiff. Uh, not too stiff, but not too light at all. Uh, I would say moderately stiff. It is also a, a black anodized aluminum, but a lot thinner. Now, as far as tactical implications for this knife, it does have a very tactical cool look to it, but as far as uh, being able to use it diversely, um, it does have this little thing right here uh, for your lanyard, but they kind of squared off the ends, but rounded off the top. So if you wanted to, you know, bop someone on the head with that, it'd probably be really effective and uh, probably really cause some substantial damage. Now. Don't know if you can see that right there, but it has a little bit of jumping. Um, I don't know why, when you're holding the knife regular position, that's going to serve no purpose. If you open up the knife and you need to use it, you know, get some leverage and chop some stuff with it, I guess it would serve a purpose, but still, you really can't feel it. So, if you guys want to get this knife as an EDC, um, a light woodworking knife or simply a utility knife. I really do recommend this to you And uh, if you guys like the video, please drop a like on it and subscribe and uh, tell your friends about this video If you guys like uh, really inexpensive knives and you guys want to know more about them before you buy them uh, I suggest you check out some of my other videos and I do have a couple of other videos coming up also So this has been my review on the MTech USA Extreme Tactical Pocket Fold Knife. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time